All right, guys, we're gonna make a collaborative, meaning like a teamwork project based upon our community. To start, I want you to choose a picture in our community that you would like to draw. It could be one that I've provided in an image here, or it could be your house, something you remember. I think I'm gonna start by drawing the old hospital. I live near this old hospital, and so I just think of this when I think of Winchester. I'm gonna try to match the lines in the drawing, so I'm starting with a line going this way, then I'm making a line that goes across. I'm gonna make a line that goes down right there, and then I'm gonna make a line that goes over and down. Now, when you're doing this, I want you to know that you're gonna have several chances to redraw this. So just do your best trying to draw your building as best as possible. And it has this little area here where people can drive through. It may not look totally perfect, but I hope that people can tell what building this is supposed to be. I'm gonna add windows. And this place in particular has a little playground next to it. So I'm gonna make a couple trees here and then I'll draw like it's um, an area with a slide. So here's a little slide. Here's the area you can climb up onto. There's a little steering wheel right there. Here's a door to let you go in. So I have one sketch of a building or a place in my community. I'm gonna do more than one. I'm gonna do, let's say two or three. And then when I find my favorite one, I'm gonna raise my hand for the next step. All right, I've made multiple sketches and this is my favorite one. I'm gonna take a Sharpie and trace the lines that I've made in pencil. I'm going to be working on something called transparency film, meaning it's see-through. And I want to be able to see all of my lines very, very clearly. So by doing this, I'm just ensuring that I have an easier time tracing. Then I'm going to lay the transparency film on top of my drawing. It's important that it doesn't move. If you're concerned that it will move around, you can ask me for a piece of tape and I'll be happy to do that. Now what I'm going to do is it's going to seem like I'm actually not doing much of anything because you're not able to see the lines I'm making. I'm going directly over the lines that I made on my sketch, and I'll let you take a sneak peek. You don't lift yours off, but you can see that my drawing is actually on the transparency here. We're going to be displaying these on a window so it looks like you're actually looking outside at our community. That's why we're using this transparency film. If I want to, I could even add a few extra details as I'm working, but I do only get one piece of this transparency film. So make sure you work out what you really want your artwork to look like on your sketch paper, because the sketch paper, you can really have as many pieces as you want. All right, so here is my little drawing of that old hospital. Now I'm gonna add some color. So when I'm working in color, I don't have all the colors in the world, so I just have to kind of find the color that matches best. I know this building I'm working with is made out of brick. So I'm gonna color with red, and then I think I'm gonna go over and make some little lines for the bricks. Now, as I'm coloring, I am going to fast forward for you. So you don't need to watch me color the whole thing at a slow speed but your goal is really to cover all of the area of your building or playground or whatever it is you chose with color. Now that I have my first layer of color on, I can go back over and trace any of those black lines I left and I can add small details. So for example, I told you this building was brick I'm gonna go in and draw just really little rectangles. So that implies, to imply means to kind of show you without doing it all the way that this building is made out of brick. If my building were made out of stone, I might use more irregular lines. If my building was made of siding, I might add straight lines that go horizontally across my paper. 
So now my building is just about done and it's going to be getting ready for display. When your work is finished, you're gonna bring it to me and you're going to choose a frame that you would like your work to go into. The frame fits nicely around your piece and so all you have to do is flip it to the back and add a little piece of tape so it stays in the frame. So I'll add a piece of tape here here and a couple at the bottom. Now my work is ready to be displayed on a window and with the whole class it's really going to look like a small little version of our cool city, Winchester.